Today is part two of three of what it's like entering into the informatics field. I've talked about the emotional state, all those emotions you're gonna go through when you're entering into the field in part one of three. There was lots of training. Pretty much, you know nursing science. You're gonna be boss or health science. Hopefully you know health science. A lot of times, a lot of these fields, they look for people that have some type of health science experience in the field out there clinical um for the most part sometimes you can find those odd jobs that they don't care about experience but most do so i knew that i was a boss at that that's what i did that's what i breathed lived like over 16 years that's what i knew now i was stepping into a <laughs> i had to learn pretty much all like the technical part now all the it part all the the IT language. I had to learn the language because now I was going to be serving operational nurses as well as IT. So I had, I knew this language over here. Now I had to learn this language over here so I could be that liaison right here. <laughs> so there was just a lot of training. I had to learn build language so that way when I get um, requests from operations, I could translate that into the IT world and mock up all my designs and make sure they understood what was actually needed. And then I would have to translate that back to operations and put it in layman's terms so that they could understand it. So that was a lot of work, like um, learning all of that, making sure I wasn't gonna make a mistake, um, learning how to, like I knew how to use PowerPoint a little and learn it if you don't know it. Uh, so like when I was doing my creation of my education, so they had to teach me how to use PowerPoint and, you know, cutting and pasting and cropping and all that kind of stuff and using PowerPoint. Uh, oh, so I had to get kind of savvy with Microsoft Office Outlook. I, I was okay with it before, but you really get savvy with like emails. <laughs> making rules and all that stuff because you don't want stuff flooding into your your email so it was like essentially just a lot of training some more things that people don't know about when you get into this field you have to learn like the back end of the emr system electronic medical record system and like you knew like when i was on the floor like oh yeah i know you know i know how to document but there was so many features that i didn't know about <laughs> there's so many things that that you had to learn because now people are gonna call you when they mess themselves up. So it was just a lot of technical things that I had to learn. Um, I had to learn like downtime machines. I really had to know how to work those uh, because before I worked day shifts, so y'all know day shift people, we didn't give out no downtime because we didn't <laughs> downtime. But when you come on this side of informatics, you gotta know downtime because downtime happens anytime. Now that I'm over here, I'm just like, oh Lord, downtime again. You are the go-to person for the EMR system. So you have to become savvy with it. You know, besides the teaching, I had to do a lot of teaching classes, um, teaching classes. So I had to learn the EMR system in that sense, as well as learn like uh, labor delivery documentation. I had to kind of know surgery documentation, like little bits and pieces of that. I had to learn uh, emergency room. I kind of had an idea about that. So your mind gets expanded in the informatics realm. You know, I was just all oh, my little, you know, pretty much basic PCU, critical care, I, med search documentation. Oh, I was the boss at it. But I had to learn a little bit more um, as far as being that tr the go-to person on my floors, as well as on call. That's my next key thing here. When you're, when you come into this field, a lot of times you're going to be on call and we're well, lucky to you if you're not. But on my side of the field where, where I work, you had to train to be on call. So there was just some things that you, you just had to be really good at <laughs> because you were, you were the resource that they were coming to. Just knowing your resources, knowing who to contact, you know, while you're trying to do your troubleshooting, you have to learn all these different IT teams because you need to know who to contact for 
orders, who to contact for uh, patient access issues, who to contact for radiology issues. So you, your mind gets blown, gets blown, 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 <laughs> because you know, you know operations, but again, you gotta learn all these IT, the different departments of who you have to reach out to to fix what. You know what I'm saying? So, so just remember that. So it's a lot of training. Um, I remember like my first few weeks, I was like nervous, like I said, nervous and anxious and stuff like that, because I just wanted to remember it all. I'm a human. I want to remember it all. I don't want to be a failure. That's just like human nature to be very, you know, uncomfortable in those type of situations. But you know, when you're getting trained and when you're getting a lot of information poured into you. So those are the few things that I would have to say in relation to training that took a lot of energy from me. And uh, it was, I mean, it was still cool. You know, in a nutshell, it was all cool. You know, having to learn all the different variations of documentation and learning about all the IT teams that are out there. You had no clue, mind blown, you know, coming into this. So definitely something to look forward to. I mean, I now, oh my gosh, now that I've been here for like um, forever, it feels <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I know like freaking all of operations. I know like freaking all of IT. So I know who to go to. I know all the contacts on both ends. So it's, it's you know, and as a manager too, you know, I, I my, that's even more expanded because now I know executive going up executives on both ends, you know? So I, it's, it's just a lot. This right here, if y'all cut this open, oh my gosh, y'all can get so much information out of it. But, um, you know, and you become too, one thing about informatics, you become that go-to person. People from IT will contact you. Oh, we need this from operations. And you know who to go to. And then people from operations, oh, we need this from IT. They come to you and you're like, okay, I know where to put that. I know who to contact for that. So it's like, you're just that, you're just peanut butter and jelly. You're directing traffic a lot of times too. You know, everybody going, <laughs> <laughs> and then a lot of times you're meeting with both, bringing them both together so they can have conversations. So you have to like learn all of that stuff. It is a lot, but don't you fear. Do you hear me? Don't be scared. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can do this. Let me tell you, if I can do it, I'm nobody special. If I can do it, you can do it too. Do not fear. Okay. Remember that you are amazing you will be amazing and you were made for this if this is your field you were designed for this you were designed to be the medical staff liaison and you're going to be the best you and you remember that so i hope that's enough information about what it's like entering into the field for the first season of your experience watch out for part three of part three of three yes the last video on the last phase of this content. I hope that you like this content and subscribe down below as well as share with your friends and share with your, your if you're in school, share with your, your schoolmates. Share the wealth of information. There's enough to go around, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. It was lovely serving you with more content and hopefully to see you next time. This is Jen Lewis, your informatics nurse specialist, signing off.